Hello there. Now, at the time of recording this, I have recorded episode 11 and 12, but I have yet to upload them. So I'm just going to go straight to the season one finale, ladies and gentlemen, for Dollhouse episode 13. And I've read back some of the comments from previous episodes saying, this is the way it was aired. This is the way it is meant to watch. Despite a few comments saying, um, you know, this episode's a prequel to the ending of season two, which is kind of spoilerish. I shouldn't have read that, but I was just trying to see what certain people were saying about the way to watch it. And I think the way to watch it is the way it is presented on Disney Plus and the ways in which the episode aired. So this is episode 13 titled Epitaph 1. Um, and the synopsis on Disney Plus is the elusive and mysterious unaired 13th episode from the first season of dollhouse so this is the way disney plus says it should be watched i'm gonna watch it that way and apparently this is the og way so my name's ellie moses your 23 year old law film shooting of senior australia shooting a shot baby and this marks the halfway point of the dollhouse tv series this is the finale to season one epitaph one let's have some fun with it let's see what's in store and let's see if this show can keep us guessing let's go Is that Saffron from Firefly? No, I don't think so. I was gonna say, we got some, like, sort of post-apocalyptic stuff here. Okay. Different title crawl as well? Or different opening title? Oh, this is a future episode. Oh, not future. Past for us now, but like future okay. when this show aired. About 10 years in the future. What's wrong with your face? It's my face. Get out of it. You crying? Hey, let's focus. People, we need to get underground. We need to get out of the city. We wouldn't make it three miles. Yeah, so we live in a sewer? Come on, when you get into the desert, no tech, no printing. Unless China puts down another blanket signal. Look, we decided. We go underground. Deep as we can. How's the crossing? Doable. Oh. My quick guess is that this is sort of like a post-apocalyptic world um, where sort of something like a Skynet event has happened. Giving me Terminator vibes here where some big Judgment Day event has happened, um, possibly involving all the dollhouses or something along the lines of that where the dollhouse lost control or some AI took over. Something along the lines of that, in my opinion. Um, but we'll see. We will see. Uh, but that's just my prediction of having a wing here, I guess. Because this is set 10 years in the future from which Dollhouse aired. And yeah, I'm intrigued to see what's going to happen here. We'll need a marker, though. It's crowded out there. I was about to say, is this the same facility that um, Alpha went to at the end of the last episode? Or no? is one thing but dragging that dumb show around the kid won't leave his side yet we don't go near those freaks of nature ever we only roll with actuals those they put out their misery you want to be the one to tell the little girl we gotta plug her dad sure hey kid guess Stop what Stop it look we better get used to us for a few days and then we'll ditch the old man actuals is this a war between like actives and humans or something along the lines of it? Butcher's coming. If they smell us, they will come down. Is that cover our tracks with the trooper. Is that Kennedy from Buffy? Crash the party. Oh no, no. I don't know. I haven't got a good closer look at her yet. I think it is Kennedy from Buffy, is it? Would it surprise me? Oh, they've entered the dollhouse. So I guess we're not in a sewer. I was expecting the la 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 la. <laughs> What is this? Some kind of an opera room? Must have been a daycare. Have the kids play where everyone could see them. Ah. 
lot of tech for a playroom. Tech! Easy. There's no signal down here. No bars. <laughs> what about a hard line? No. I don't think so. I saw some fiber optics cut over by the power box. I think this place is closed off. So it seems like anything with technology is off limits to these guys. Anything that can send a signal. Um, so it's kind of maybe got me thinking of like a Skynet situation where robots have taken over the world or something along the lines of that technology AI because they straight away saw something go online. The tech bang went to like didn't shoot it, but went to go shoot it. First instinct was to shoot anything involving some sort of technology. So I'm interested to see what's happening. I like this. I like this direction. I like it. It's intriguing. It's intriguing. An active doesn't judge, doesn't pretend. This will be the purest, most genuine human encounter of your life and hers. It is a treasure. One I guarantee you will never, never forget. Told to the man with only one memory. <laughs> A brothel? You mean to tell me that the tech that punk kicked the ass of mankind was originally designed to create more believable hookers? <laughs> they call them actives. I think they were used for a variety of things. Yeah, for millionaires. Money, man. It's like the main ingredient in crazy. I thought the bathrooms are. I'll take her. Come on, you don't want to miss a Mr. Miller comedy hour. Oh, wait, kid, if you find any food... Eat it. Take that 45 with you. You know what I've noticed lately? This ep oh lately, but this episode so far, it's a lot of handheld camera movement. There has been um there has been very few steady shots. It's all been handheld, uh quick cuts, very um in your face shots as well, like lots of close ups of the characters. It's all handheld camera movement so far. Like not all of it, but like I'd say ninety percent of the episode so far. What's next? I guess we'll jump ahead a bit. Are the memories stored in order? Some kind of order. I mean, whoever set this thing up was unorthodox, to say the least. It's actually weirder. <laughs> Which may be a first. This, obviously, is the programming center. Are they installing the it's Wits great. memories I into this guy? I haven't done with the place. <laughs> I get up in this, I'm going to need a couple throw pillows, a fridge. Should we uh, order you a poster with a cat? Maybe hanging off a tree? <laughs> I like this guy already. It's not a dorm room. Mr. Dominic is our head of security. I'm here to make sure the house runs smoothly. No unstable elements. So do you get me the fridge, or do I talk to someone higher up? We have at least 10 actives sent out per day. It takes two hours to upload an imprint, so I don't see you oh, having- Two hours? Time. What? Are they memorizing their personalities? Two hours is the standing record for any house. Do you think you can beat it? Uh, to yes. hope, yeah. <laughs> First of all, the analog cables have got to go. You're uploading a personal history chronologically, right? Endless. The information bottlenecks. To preserve the integrity of the memory structure. No, 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 no. You don't have to. They can experience it teleologically, and the imprinted memory can sort it out for you. Dump it all at once. Come at them from all sides. It's basic micropulse. In and out. Five minutes tops. What if their brains turn to jelly? Well... <clears throat> with the obvious exception of yours, the human brain is a massively powerful creature <laughs> underestimating and is usually the last mistake any culture makes. Cities don't burn because everyone got smarter. They burn because someone lost control of them. I'm That's sorry, fitting. <laughs> but when's this clown? Did Edie Aline turn down the job? Mr. Dominic is my eyes and ears. Can I be nose and throat? In matters of security, <laughs> my ascent is a formality, including the termination of unstable employees. What's a brothel? I'll explain it when we're older. I wonder if there are any dolls do. still asleep. I'm waiting for some sort of horror vibes. Hey, whenever you see someone shower... Yeah, exactly. I remember Alien Covenant, man. The person that showered got wrecked by the Xenomorph. Or whatever that thing was in that movie. 
Showering is not a good idea in horror movies or like horror vibe things or thriller stuff. Oh, someone picked up the flashlight. Pa! <laughs> does the treatment sound nice? It does. Good. Buy back, please. Okay, they're going through various memories that are obviously left in that chair. I thought it was the wit's memories that she uploaded before she died or the dollhouse got destroyed or something because the wit was um, present in those two memories we looked at before. It still could be. She might come into play. It might be her memories. But so far, it just seems like... This girl is going to be know. fresh out of the shipping container from a little town called Dolinsk. No skills, no English. Oh, is no, Ballard Echo's handler now? The wolf in sheep's clothing or a sheep? I haven't taken on the Russian mob lately, so I don't know. Yes, they're trusting her. Then we can give her the skills. Why is she looking like Mary Poppins? <laughs> see, 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 see. see. That one, that one. <laughs> You've got to pick up the pace. I don't know if I can hold out much longer. Hang in there. Oh, is this like the a Russian girl? Two insiders taking down the dollhouse? The headaches are getting worse. We're gonna go down into our Peru. We'll set up some trippers to just get visibility up there. Yeah. See, so the whole world can see us. I'm paying attention to the dialogue. I'm sorry to keep pausing, but like, they're like, at least she went out herself. So is there something along the lines if you get like imprinted with technology, you get wiped, and you just become a robot or like a victim of these, maybe the AI technology has taken over? Something along the lines of that. But um, the foreshadowing there with Echo and Ballard, it seems like they're in some sort of um partnership right now where echo or the old caroline has sort of started to come back where she's been able to sort of control um the imprints where half of it's herself and half of it's the imprints and she's able to maintain that bar the headaches as well that's what i'm trying to i don't know i like this episode a lot nice little display case for our potential corpses the answer's up there the big creepy slabs of tech are up there no answers Meg. just history so it seems like this is the place where the tech originated. Maybe there's a way to stop it. Fine. But since we agreed to keep it. It seems like the imprint technology to took over Agreed. from what they're saying. Agreed. Good. Don't worry, sweetie. Everybody's gonna grow up sometime. Where will you go? I don't know yet. We'll have to figure that out on the move. Somewhere they can't pinpoint me. Where is that? I don't know. And I wouldn't tell you if I did. Are these two in love? Already in danger. I don't want you to be. It's understatement to say they have ways of making you talk. You won't be able to go to the hospital if you need some therapy. Some extra bandages if you need to where you have them. We're healing fine, Claire. You'll need these to fight off infection fever. It's the first Claire. time. Claire. I'll be okay. Yeah, these two are clearly in love. What the fudge you happened there? One more time. <laughs> You understand? I will come back for you. You call it a birthmark. It's the only way we could tell a person really is who they say. If you... Iris Miller? Yeah. So if you start acting strange, we can ask you your full name and know that you're okay. The word has been spreading for a while among actuals, so if we need any new actuals, we can check to verify. Okay. And... I want to be like Zone. What, dead? On Earth. Because he's funny and mean. Oh, oh, Zone is that guy. Okay, my bad, my bad, my bad. I thought it was the girl that was dead. You I was like, why do you want to be a dead person? I have to tattoo my dad. He doesn't know who he is anymore. And power. And heat. And no signal. Cliff, if we fortify, if I'm whatever's down here with us, blast it to pieces, we could set up in this place. Yeah, I was about to say... I forgot she, I, I thought she forgot about the murder on the loose. Griff? I think it found us. Holy moly! What in the Scream 3 is that? I found your friend. Oh my gosh, it's Illyria. <laughs> it's Illyria. 
Holy moly, it's Illyria or oh, Sydney Prescott's mum from Scene Dream 3. Shoot you very hard. Who are you? My name is Whiskey. What's your last name? Tango. I don't know. I'm joking. It's a dumb show. A dumb show that bats Lynn in the head. Where were you born? Let's move this bitch back to the bush years. Did you kill our friend? I found her. She was sleeping. You wouldn't even hold know. Hold on a second, guys. Hold on. How did you get down here? I've always been here. I'm, I'm gonna blast her. Power down a second, Zone. Since when do we mull this over? Are you looking for safe haven? She's empty, man. I know the way to safe haven. You do? I can show you the way. This is the must way. Be a secret tunnel or something. I wonder how many actuals are there. Here. Here? Yes? Man, grab a heavy thing. This is the way to safe haven. Oh, the machine. In the kitchen. Okay. <laughs> this is pre Victor slash days. Sorry to make you come down. I'm allergic to shellfish, so this is a real treat. No problem with these candles. Time to choose. Just to wait. Whether you want to be someone who lives on the endless epic arc of history. Or a quickly discarded, decomposing vessel, enriching the soil. You both learned a place on the Ark, Mr. Brink, you practically built it. So, you can take this body if you want, I won't fight. Right now I'm in ten others, having this conversation in ten other houses. If you do- Wait, 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 wait. I want to see who directed Avengers Age of Ultron for a second. Was it Joss Whedon again? It was Josh Sweden. Is this like an Ultron situation where one guy, aka like an Ultron, basically started downloading himself into other bodies like an AI? And then, I don't know, you guys are probably smiling or laughing at the moment, but Avengers Age, oh, Age of Ultron came into my mind right there, right now, because of what he said. Like, I'm in 10 other bodies right now. I'm downloading myself across the World Wide Web. Um, and yeah, I just got chills down my spine saying that because... Yeah, I felt like Ultron was a pretty good villain, but um, I'm just trying to figure out whether this is before Victor got slashed in the face by Alpha, or like this is pre those days where Rossum, because Rossum is the other agency that supplies to the dollhouse, or is like in league with the dollhouse, or does sort of the background research. Um, I wonder if Rossum got too big for their own boots and sort of like their own independent research or something along the lines of that um and is this pre-victor days where this is a different person in victor's body like an imprint that went rogue or is this post victor getting slashed and this is one of those upgrades where they facially reconstructed his um scars do i don't know though. well no and you'll have made a choice so what do you say I thought knowing how it happened would somehow it make it not as bad. Does it hurt? It looks like it hurts. He doesn't remember it hurting when it's over, though, kiddo. So, can that machine take people out of people and put them in other people? Yeah, I think so. What the fucker? What the fudge? John Wick Chapter 5 is a girl. Oh my gosh. Did she hit the other girl, Lynn? Mother, this girl is evil. Oh, she gonna scream. She gonna perform the Oscar. I regret to inform you, ma'am, we've had a security breach. I sent for you, Mr. Dominic. After everything we've been through, you think I'm still your faithful lapdog? After the attic? Oh. After what you did with my body? You were a spy. You were caught. What did you think would happen? Mr. Dominic exactly what happened. reclaimed himself. Everywhere. I hear alarms in the background as well. So you've been briefed. I saw Topher's face. Almost worth the price of the ticket. I took a little walk outside. That wasn't a good idea. I ran into a guy. Business guy. Very nice suit. 
It's three buttons again. Guy asked me to help find his mommy. And did I want to play Pretty Princess with him? I just had to go to the bathroom quickly, but I was thinking while I was in the bathroom, some thoughts. And I feel like this is Dollhouse's version of Restless, if that makes sense, from Buffy. And I remember Angel had a similar episode as well, um, you know, foreshadowing uh going into the past just just an off-putting episode like um i feel like this is dollhouse's restless where it's like an episode that has its finale previously and then the finale would be sort of like an off-putting episode or one that has foreshadowing or one that makes you intrigued with what's to come and this is that episode for dollhouse um and i'm loving it so far um i actually do like its placement um because i was saying before in episode 11, if you guys remember my reaction to that, I said episode 11 felt like a penultimate episode to a finale. Hence, episode 12 was the finale for season 1 with sort of Echo saying Caroline. And then this is that sort of... Um, uh, it's sort of like Joss Whedon has one final card to play um, up his sleeve for the final episode of the season. And he does this, where it's just like an episode that's so out of left field, but it's very creative. And it meshes well with the characters we've um previously seen and even though it might spoil some things um it makes you really intrigued to see how those things came to fruition and i guess that's going to be season two because i'm loving this episode so far i know like kindergarten because there's boys that's what this whole operation was about right giving people what they want i'm happy dominic got his no, body no, back no, no, no. <laughs> what they need everybody needs to get away to slip out of their lives I hear sirens and stuff in the background. Do. I feel like it's a Judgment Day Skynet the girl, situation. They couldn't have the pretty princess. They never got to be. I miss anything? Just the vodka, thank God. <laughs> How's it feel to end the world, Ms. Duet? There may be a way to stop it. Text out there. You can't <coughs> go away. There's a block. A uh, defense against being imprinted. Topher has a cure. Caroline has it. Which one's Caroline? Oh, hence the ability to resist the imprints right. with um that scene yep. in the in the lift. Big old plate of chicken. Killed the wrong girl, my friend. But there's no Caroline in here. It's like she didn't exist. She exists. But how do we find her? Something goes in there. Yes. No. This is what it means to be me. I'd rather deal with the pain. Yes, the Aussie accent is back. Representation, baby. Julia Woo! had another one of her dreams last night. We were all on a boat this time. A giant boat. Even her dreams are hacky. Actually, not the Aussie accent's back. Cooing about her feet. The real Aussie so what, girl's back. You? Hope seems almost cruel at this point. Just these people, they make me crazy. Maybe I should just go above ground. Don't talk like that. You know how dangerous it is. It takes gone wireless. People are stealing bodies left and right. You don't want to end up like November. Which one? The safest thing we can do is just cut our lines and go on lockdown. Lockdown. Wireless imprints. Have you ever known anything else? Next minute, no. you're going to have people imprinting people with, like, Harry Potter ones. Like, <laughs> Avada imprint. Like, freaking just, like, I see a guy 20 minutes away. Bah, Avada Kedavra. Expecto imprint. Bang. Just, like, wireless imprints. That's crazy. It's just, like, you see the same people. You open up your phone. It's just, like, all right, who's on this connection? What Wi-Fi connection is there? Oh, we're going to this guy. It's just, all right, I'm having too much fun. Sorry. All right. That's over with now. Kid, listen. There's only three of us now. So I think it's time to give you a gun. No! <laughs> I'm scared of guns. I don't. Small gun. What do you gotta do? Just point. Just be careful, okay? No, oh, he's gonna she's gonna pop him in the head. She a trained assassin! She knows what she's doing. Old this guy, school. this guy, gonna each get taken out. An entire personality. Huh? How do we know which one is Caroline? 
One by one, we load up whiskey and introduce ourselves. You have no idea. <laughs> oh, God. You murdered them all. I really didn't want to. <laughs> you guys kill everyone that's printed. Bigots. We saved your life. <laughs> Griff saved your life this whole time. Easy part to play. A stupid kid. I don't know how I got dumped into this little bitch's body. <laughs> that chair is my chance to get out. Yo, she's pretty good, this girl. Like the actor. The actress, sorry. She's you good. Mag, you me? Mag, thank you. I need Carolina, Whiskey, or whoever to lead the way. So, sorry, Zone. It's been really nice. A little patronizing, but... Uh, yeah, I was about to say, I hope he didn't load the gun. <laughs> 4K, baby. Get wrecked. Played. How did you know? I saw Mr. Miller's birthmark after his body hit the ground. His name wasn't Miller. I'm humble in prayer. I am grateful for my memories. I tried to give him how a paradol, but he won't take anything without you. Right. Thank you, Dr. Saunders. It's one of his bad days. It's like the dollhouse went into lockdown. No, but Dr. Saunders doesn't have scars. But it is after as well because Tofa's insane. There you are. I'm sorry. Millions programmed to kill anyone who's not programmed to kill anyone. And then the war has two sides. Those who answered the phone and those who didn't. You know what? Don't answer the phone. Promise me you won't answer the phone. I, I promise, sweetheart. I I could read to you. Do you like that? Pick up the phone. Don't pick up the phone. I can't tell. It's an interesting question. An entire army in a single instant. It takes. That's brilliant. What led to this? Who created this? That's so brilliant. Why didn't I think of that? I was about to say, it was I don't think it was Topher, but it's someone, maybe a villain in season two, or Rossum. Can I think of that? Was it Topher? Did I? I think I can figure things out. Is that curiosity or arrogance? Oh my God. I know what I know. 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 It's like a mother son relationship here. I know The Terminator is coming, Biatch. The T 800. The echo? Yeah. <laughs> the boys. <laughs> home sweet home. Don't tell me you end the episode here. I swear if you end the episode here, I'm gonna riot. Okay, good. <laughs> Glad to see the doctor back in the house. Didn't expect to after they fixed your face. Ah. Oh. How'd that happen? Long story. Jury got on together, but he's got my back. Listen, I need Topher to put me in the chair, back me up on a drive, hard copy. And if Topher doesn't go up there anymore. Is Caroline like the Sarah Connor or John Connor of this show? You're copying yourself? In case something happens to me. John Connor. I know exactly where we're going. Gotta keep that close for now, but someday someone may need to know. How will they know where to look? I'm working on that, but I'll be able to handle you. 
Your mind's made up? Yes, it is. Ah! <laughs> Puberty all over again. How many we got? You're looking at them. What year is this? 2019. 19? Dr. Saunders! I can't believe you held out. My name is Whiskey. Are they gonna put Dr. Dr. Saunders back? Thank you, Whiskey, for helping them find me. Try my best. <laughs> hey, she said that when she was yeah, the OG whiskey from a couple episodes ago. Or last episode. The flashbacks. You knew her before? I told her if she stayed she'd lose her mind. I guess she decided that was better. But you discovered a cure. Yeah. Where is Safe Haven? That's what they're calling it. That's our tripper. Party's crashed. Let's move. This little girl's walking around with an MP5. Just going. <laughs> the elevator shaft. Obviously, it's Caroline, but like, <laughs> is she gonna take down the whole joint like suicide bomb style? <laughs> he is. I think once Caroline got rescued or found, that's Whiskey's mission to basically take down the dollhouse or like blow up the remains. Okay, maybe not blow up, but gas it. We got Last of Us, we got Maze Runner, we got everything in this joint. We got Terminator. That's awesome. Not awesome for the world, but. You were helping, huh? Giving people what they needed? <laughs> Is this what we needed? No. It's full of matches. <laughs> and they they burn burned down the house. Down. It's actually kind of sad. Oh no, I saw Sierra's photo. She dead. It's all you'll ever see. Oh fuck, Victor died. Balls. Oh, November. Wait, I haven't seen Boyd or Ballard yet. Oh, that's sad, man. Oh, okay, yeah, they, I was like, okay, so it's to remember as in they've left this dollhouse facility, right? Okay, so that's cool, that's cool. So possibly they're still alive. So there's basically two Carolines now, right? Because they back, she backed herself up. Oh man, I hope we get a conclusion to this. Like, I hope we don't get what led up to this like we're gonna get what led up to this like we're obviously gonna get the pieces of the puzzle that led up to this judgment day sort of apocalyptic event but i hope we get the sequel to this <laughs> both last both episodes ended with caroline like episode 12 and 13 that was fantastic man that's that's a banger that's a banger of an app that's a bang that's a banger that's a banger and um, I can sort of piece the pieces of the puzzle together already. I can, I can already put them together of like sort of what's going to happen 
um, you know, Ballard and Echo on the inside. Echo seems to be resistant or begins to become resistant to the imprint slowly and slowly. She starts to remember um, to the point where the imprints have like half an impact and the other half is herself. Her and Ballard sort of team up. Boyd probably goes rogue as well and leaves. Um, probably sees the kinks in the armor in the dollhouse, sees that they're going the wrong way, maybe getting too ambitious. He dips out. Um, Ballard and Echo, or Ballard and I keep calling it Echo. Ballard and Caroline sort of become the Sarah Connor and John Connor of this world. Um, and they're sort of the hopeful people, but they sort of, they need to get to this safe haven. Um, so lots of like influences from other post-apocalyptic sort of material I've seen in terms of like safe havens, like um, a bit of Terminator, a bit of like Maze Runner, um, Hunger Games maybe? I'm trying to think of other ones. Um... I'm not sure if Last of Us, because I haven't seen the second Last of Us, or I haven't played The Last of Us 2 yet. Um, I don't know what happens in that. But um, yeah, I it kind of reminds me of the short film I've written as well. Um, very, very intrigued. I'm actually very surprised at this, because I'd never seen this before, and it reminds me of the short film I have written. So um, yeah, I'm not going to give away too much on that department. But... Um, I really want to see the sequel to this, if that makes sense. Like, I know we're going to get the lead up in season two. We're going to get the slow build up to this event that happened. Um, but I want to see the sequel to this. I want to see what happened. But knowing Joss Whedon, he's going to leave it open ended like this. And it's going to piss me off so much. But, ah, oh, it's going it, to. I don't want that. I don't want that. But um, that was a fantastic episode, you know? one of those Joss Whedon finales again, where it's just sort of like a left field one, but it's also fitting at the same time. And it gets you thinking it's just, it, it's not a normal finale. And instead of inserting it into season four, like he did with Buffy and Angel, um, there must've been something with the networks at the time where he's like, I'm going to do this at the end of season one. Um, because I don't know if this show was meant to be a two show season, but um, a, a two season show, sorry. Um, but yeah, it's got me intrigued. It's got me intrigued. I'm hella excited for what's to come. I hope you guys enjoy my reaction. As always, been your boy the Moses. Take care. God bless and peace.